Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir, your digital classroom. My name is T.S. Sudhir. You would have seen our live session yesterday soon after the ICSC Council had put out its circular regarding the conduct of the examination, the board examinations on its website. Now, in this video, I intend to do a deep dive, decoding what the circular exactly means for each one of the students, approximately 3 lakh students who would take who are supposed to take the class 10 and class 12 board examinations 2021. Now a couple of students on the channel yesterday wrote uh, and I will quote one of them. Guys, I do not see what's wrong with this decision. If you want to take the examination, you can. If you do not want to, you need not. Yes, exactly the point that I had made during the live session. It is a very democratic decision taken by the ICSC Council. I am not saying, I am not finding fault with them on that front at all. They have given the right to the students to decide whether they want to take the examination or do not want to take the examination. So on paper, and I repeat, on paper, this is a perfectly democratic decision wherein they are not kind of imposing their will on the students, but letting the students take the decision right then why am i a little upset about this entire thing in fact uh, someone also said that this is precisely what the cbsc did right and that there is no difference between what the cbsc did and what the council has announced yesterday right uh, so the question being asked is why is the cisc circular being criticized while well, everyone was very welcoming as far as the CBSC note was concerned. What is the difference if there is a difference? I believe there is a difference, right? The difference is, is one, of course, you need to read the two circulars very carefully. CBSC said, and I'm quoting from the circular, it said the class 10 board examinations are cancelled. It used the word cancelled. The word cancelled figures nowhere in the ICSC council circular. That's an important difference, right? It said, the CBSC said that the marks will be awarded on the basis of an objective criteria and any candidate, listen to this carefully, any candidate who is not satisfied with the marks allocated to him or her will be given an opportunity to sit in an examination whenever it is held and when the situation, as in when the situation is conducive, which means if I am a CBSC student of class 10, I am not happy with the marks being allotted to me, being given, awarded to me. I can then choose to take the examination as and when the situation is conducive, as and when the CBSE decides to conduct the examination. The ICSC Council circular is very different. One, of course, it has not used the word cancelled anywhere, as some people are saying. Whoever is saying that ICSC has cancelled its board examination is wrong grossly wrong what they have said is they are deferring the examination the word use is defer deferment deferment means postponement it does not mean cancellation of the examination what they have said is that a final decision on conduct of both class 10 and class 12 examination will be taken in the first week of june they have postponed the decision to the first week of june they have postponed the two board examinations they have not cancelled the class 10 board examination that's the big difference between cbsc and the icsc council now the operative part the candidates will be given the option to write the examination or not to write the examination, right? And that's where people are interpreting that ICSC has also cancelled the examination. No, ICSC council keh raha hai ki hum aap par ye nirnay chhod rahe hain. Aapko exam likhna hai, to likho. Nahi likhna hai, to mat likho. Hum exam conduct karenge. Jab bhi sthiti thik hogi, June ke pehle hafte mein hum ye nirnay lenge, right? We will take the decision in the first week of June. आपको एग्जाम तब लेना हो तो लो नहीं लेना है तो मत लो हम कैंसिल नहीं कर रहे हैं आज की तिथि में ओके एंड इफ यू गो फॉर ऑप्शन टू यानी कि अगर आप चाहते हैं कि हम एग्जाम नहीं लिखें तब आपका रिजल्ट प्रिपेयर होगा अकॉर्डिंग टू ए फेयर एंड अनबायस क्राइटेरिया नाउ हियर द डिफरेंस इज दैट CBSC कहता है कि अगर आपको जो मार्क्स मिले मेरे को 100 में से 70% मिलते हैं मेरे को उसमें खुशी नहीं है आई एम नॉट हैप्पी विद द 70 आउट ऑफ 100 राइट सो आई डिसाइड दैट आई विल टेक द एग्जामिनेशन व्हेनेवर द CBSC तो आपको मार्क्स पहले मिलेंगे उसके बाद आपका डिसीजन होगा कि आप 
एग्जाम फिर से लिखना चाहते हैं या नहीं अगर मेरे को 90 परसेंट आ गए मैं क्यों लिखूंगा ग्यारहवीं कक्षा में कंटिन्यू करूंगा राइट आईसीएससी में यू विल हैव टू चूज वन ऑफ द टू ऑप्शन इफ यू गो बाय द सर्कुलर If you go by the circular, they are saying you choose option one, that is to write the exam. Option two of not writing the exam. Option two choose करोगे तो हम आपको marks according to a fair and unbiased criteria देंगे. तो इसमें results पहले आएंगे तो आपको ये unbiased criteria क्या है ये जानने की जरूरत होगी. You have to take the decision और एक बार ये आपने option two choose कर लिया तो marks जितने भी मिले 60 मिले या 80 मिले you will have to go by it. That is the, those are the two big differences between CBSE and ICC council. So whoever is saying that they are similar circulars are not reading the fine print. Okay. So I have decoded this for you. Now, that's only one part of the problem. Now in the rest of the video, I will tell you exactly what it means for all you students. And in at study with Sudhir, we believe in a very clear analysis not a muddled up analysis each word is explained in detail just like we do our chapters and different lessons okay and another thing and i want to say this no abusive or unparliamentary language to be used for the council or any person of the council that's a no no this is not the channel for it aapko karna hai kisi aur channel mein kijiye yahan par nahi hoga i am very clear on that i will not approve of any abusive word or unparliamentary word used for anyone in the council any teacher any individual for that matter any individual for that matter we do not subscribe to that mindset at all number one or is next video ko jo baki ka video hai dhyan se suniye who will take the decision who will take the decision ki mere ko exam likhna hai ya nahi likhna hai parents students ya schools let's first talk about the parents first after my live many parents and I always enjoy interacting with parents. Parents wrote to me saying that uh, it helped them take a decision because they were a little confused as to what to do. But after my life, it helped them take a decision ki okay, let's move on and let's kind of put the class 10 behind and let's move on with class 11, right? If their student has done reasonably well. But I'm also aware that there are a large number of parents who are very competitive in nature who would want their kids to convert that 86-87 to a 90-91. As a parents, I have a lot of parents. Okay. There will also be fathers and mothers who will say, my class 10 was 88 percent. I want my son or my son to take 95 percent. So you have to complete my wish. You will have to fulfill my wish. There will also be those kind of parents. Right? Now the question is, can a 15 year old child 15, 16 year old child withstand that kind of pressure. Can he or she do that? I know of many parents who would want their child to get more marks than their neighbor or a relative son or daughter. Can the child withstand the burden of those expectations? That is my worry, right? So will it be just the student's decision or will it be the desire of the parents imposed on that 15, 16 year old student? Number two, the school management and listen to this carefully, this is important because they will also come into play and this is far more serious, much more serious because I know this from the 2020 experience that the school management decide that kiss student ko exam likhna chahiye, kiss student ko exam nahi likhna chahiye and who are the students who would they want to uh, take the examination because they would think that internals kya hoga, assessment kis basis pe hoa hoga, hoga. Maybe the project marks, maybe the pre-board marks. We do not know. The board has not, the council has not declared it as yet, right? Nor has the CBSC. So it's a guess that us basis pay marks decide honge. So now let's assume there is a student who is, according to their calculation, likely to get a 95-96 percent. Arre baap re, 95-96 se hamara school ka naam roshan kaise hoga? This student is capable of getting a 98-99. Bekar mein humne usko pre-boards mein kaafi strict marking di. So he or she should take the examination so that he gets 98 or 99. Hum bada sa advertisement next day paper mein dale ki humare school ke bache ko 98-99% aai. He is the city topper, he is the state topper or perhaps even the national topper. 98.7% or 99.2% percentage leke he or she is the national topper or state topper whatever. You know school ka naam roshan hota hai right. I can tell you 
और मैं ये लिख के देता हूं देर बी मेनी स्कूल इंसिस्ट एंड पुट प्रेशर ऑन द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द पेरेंट्स दैट सच चिल्ड्रन द टॉप क्रीम द टू थ्री फोर स्टूडेंट्स टॉप फाइव स्टूडेंट्स should take the examination in the interest not of the students but in the interest of the school i'm telling this this will happen it is for the students and the parents to resist that kind of pressure that's my opinion rest entirely up to you it's not just the toppers i'm not talking only about the top 5 in any school even the weak students and that's my bigger concern even my weak student even the weak students will now be forced to take the examination by the parents by the schools why by the schools because they would not want anyone to be in the 40s or the 50s or 60s you know all are 100% results above 75% it looks good in an advertisement right if your seven students have scored in the 60s are yaar pura drag down kar diya pura average drag down ho gaya that's not what schools like because it's not good advertisement for the schools and rightly so perhaps right even for parents you know hamara bachcha 60% laaye agar exam likhega to maybe he will get a 75 that hope is there that desire is there that wish is there they will also force the students who have not done very well academically i'm not i should not have used the word weak students who have not done academically well in 2020 2021 even they will be forced so to all such parents all i want to say is please do not treat 2021 as an accurate barometer of your child's potential 2020 2021 was a very difficult and a very different kind of a year right see i may be a very good student but my parents may not be very financially well off so they may not have been able to support me with the right kind of gadgets good internet connection jiske wajah se kafi sari online classes meri miss ho gayi ho ya buffering hoti hui ho you know or you know i may not have been able to pay full attention ya koi doubt solving ke liye koi na raha ho all those kind of problems will come into play right would have come into play right so my performance has suffered because i don't have the where with all i don't have the support structure i don't have this infrastructure in order to take me from a 75 to an 87 right for that i should not be condemned i should not be condemned ki are ye to 75 ka student hai kind of thing no do not judge a student by marks at least not this year please don't do that marks in any case as i always say they are just the by product right and i'm saying this particularly to schools and parents please don't judge students by the marks they get in this particular academic year technology or the lack of technology has made it a non level playing field so the students should not be penalized for it right that's my request and the pressure that society exerts on our students is is simply not funny you know i don't think we should do that at least not this year the other fourth big factor is that you are not caring about the child's mental health and that's my biggest problem with the note that the council has put out you have not been sensitive to the mental health of all these 15 16 year olds because the council can say that we have taken a very democratic decision but between the parents and the school managements the student many of the students will be forced to consume the same geography the same history the same physics the same biology for another minimum 6 weeks minimum 6 weeks in case if you are able to conduct the examination in the month of june agar nahi hoga to then it will get extended the 6 weeks they will be forced to consume the same thing and how much of revision you can possibly do how much of fun is it as it is they have been studying this for over a year i mean i can imagine they would have got completely bored of studying the same thing right uh, so let's kind of not put so much of pressure on the students fragile mind and in this covid times should we really subject the children to this as it is they are forced to stay indoors as it is they are forced to stay indoors upar se usi subject ko bar bar padhte raho padhte raho padhte raho come on give them a break i mean this this is time to think out of the box we are stuck in the same box for heaven's sake we are stuck in the same box we need to i mean couldn't the council have said we will follow a liberal marking policy we will 
ensure that everyone gets good marks right because this has been a difficult year not just for the students even for the teachers even for the schools even for the council you have had to take very difficult decisions so when everyone has gone through this very traumatic time and many of the students have gone through the added trauma of losing their near and dear ones why would you want to subject them to this it i i fail to understand why shouldn't you come out with something totally different instead of following the same set pattern ki nahi exam to karana hi hai that's my problem with this circular with due respect the study fatigue will be tremendous at least when you move to class 11 there will be new books there will be new syllabus right there will be new enthusiasm to study right at least it will not be the same stuff which you will be reading again in the same world war one the same merchant of venice the same digestive system at least there will be something different upgraded version from 10th to 11th there will be new challenges for these students allow them to explore allow them to discover you're just pushing them into the same well all over again ki agle dead mahine tak tum usi koe mein pade raho study fatigue is very serious mental health and possible depression is very serious i think the council should be more student friendly in order to recognize these kind of problems now cbse classes 11th classes cbse i am told will soon start their 11th class classes for 11th class now many students from icsc move to cbse in class 11 what happens to them if they decide to take the examination should they continue class 10 or should they start studying for class 11 syllabus right we do not know can they keep their feet in two boats i am not too sure i raised the same point yesterday the other point is many students join coaching institutes which prepare them for je and neat and je and neat is almost like a clock working in reverse every day every hour is precious so are you going to make them do je and neat and class 10 at the same time I don't know whether it's really such a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea at all. You need to allow them to move on because these are tough examinations. And I can tell you one more thing. Many of the uh, coaching institutes do what is called a bridge course, right? Because there is a gap between 10th and 11th, right? Between 10th and 11th. So they need to have a small 15 day, 15 day or 20 day refresher course in order to bridge the gap. You have not allowed them to reach the bridge in the first place. Where will they do the bridge course? So all this needs time. How can they kind of keep their feet in two boats at the same time? Mentally, physically, at a psychological level. That's my problem. ISC classes, suppose, and this is a point I raised in the live also. Suppose there are 50 students in a class, right? 40 of them have decided they will not take the examination. But 10 of them want to take the examination. So will you stop the classes till the 10 also join the class? Or will you start the classes irrespective of whether they miss the class or attend the class? We do not know. So ISC, CBSC, State Board, Coaching Institutes, everywhere there is an issue. Why shouldn't the council think from the student's point of view? And that's my biggest problem, my angst against this circular issued by the CISE. Now, the other big point, of course, is about the fair and unbiased criteria, which the council note speaks about. Now, there's no clarity, but I would expect that the council would clarify in a few days from now. Now, there are a couple of points. There are some schools which set very tough pre-board papers, some set easy papers can you compare apples and oranges i am not sure whether that's a level playing field there are some schools which mark very strictly there are some which do not mark very strictly again can you compare the two most importantly some schools in fact many schools conducted the pre-board examinations in the online format and you all know what happens in the online format don't you there are some which conducted them offline right the ones which conducted them online, the students scored much better. The ones where offline examinations were conducted, not everyone scored well, right? You know what happens in the online examination. I don't really need to spell it out. How can you then use the same data of the pre-board examinations from X school and Y school, online, offline examination, and then compare the same? Again, not a level playing field. So... The final point is many students because of COVID related reasons could not take the examinations. How are you going to judge those students? That's another 
important point there are many students who did not have access to the right technology to be able to write those examinations how are you going to judge those students there needs to be some kind of clarity on what will be a level playing field for all the two lakh students who are who were set to take the icsc class 10 board examinations finally what i would say to all the students is i think and this is my advice you are free to take it or leave it it's time to move on these marks in this covid year will not matter will not matter if you have survived this year if you have survived this year you're already a winner you're already each one of you is actually a winner if you have actually survived this very difficult very challenging covid year if you followed the covid protocol and kept everyone safe at home as a result you're already a winner you're already a topper in my book you're already a winner if you worked hard for these board examinations and felt good with the entire learning process right you felt good with the entire learning process i interact with so many of the students in the ashwin and century batch on our app and i can tell you as i have said in the past there are a wonderful bunch of kids and i like their focus and i can see the growth curve in each one of them and i'm sure so many of you would have followed the same kind of a growth curve so if you have done so if you have enjoyed the learning process okay the marks are just a milestone on the road they are just a by product but if you have enjoyed the learning process you are already a winner you do not need any kind of validation of a mark sheet for that you don't if you have secured admission to a school of your choice in class 11 my advice is move on please move on no one will ever ask you for this class 10 board examination marks of 2021 no one will judge you even if you scored a 66% no one will judge you you move on and try to make class 11 and class 12 count that should be your motto that should be your mission to parents and to the school management i would say don't put pressure let the children move on let the students move on we really need to wipe the blackboard or the whiteboard press the reset button i think it's time to press the reset button and say let's start life on a new slate right on a fresh slate right uh, i really believe that your child is already a winner what he or she had to learn they have learned the battle has been won because you see when a child is riding the tricycle right after some years you don't make the child ride the tricycle through throughout his growing up years right after some time you say your tricycle ko side mein rakho i'll buy you a bicycle right you need to allow the child to graduate from the tricycle to the bicycle you should not say that till you pass the examination of this tricycle i will not let you get on to a bicycle don't do that let the child move to a bicycle so think about the points that i have made in this video i hope they are of help i hope they help you arrive at a decision and as i said the decision is finally yours think about the child the child comes first and i repeat your child your child is already a winner he or she has already won the battle he does not need to pick up the weapons all over again thank you very much for watching stay safe